Hey, D. Anthony from the Dad Vlog here. Today, we're going to talk about a few things that we actually regret buying because we've probably never used these things or we found such little use for these things in our daily life that we could have just kept that money. Full disclaimer, I'm horrible with the names of these things, okay? I told you we never really used them. Number one, so this is meant to have a baby sit upright in just before he's able to sit up himself. It sits like flush to the floor and has these little dangly things on them. So you put the baby in there and he's supposed to sit there and have like such an awesome time because he's sitting up. Taj sat in this thing for all of 30 seconds, started crying his eyes out. Every time we tried to put him in there thereafter, no go. We could have kept that money, but I do like the idea. The idea, solid. Number two, the roll away bassinet. Now this hurt my feelings because I always link the word baby with bassinet. Well, mainly because I listened to a lot of Will Smith growing up. Got you home safe, placed you in your bassinet. Okay, the bassinet had wheels and it wasn't the most attractive thing. It looked like one of those 1950 bassinets. It wasn't like the new hip modern bassinet, you feel me? And it seemed that every time we put Taj in it to go to sleep, he would wake up. If we put him in it to try to go to sleep, he wouldn't go to sleep. So that bassinet became a dirty clothes basket. Number three. Now this one hurt my heart too. Not as much as the bassinet, but this one, this one really hurt. I don't even know what this thing is called, but but you see it all over Instagram. It's like an it's like a baby holder, but it's like a scarf. It's like a huge scarf that, that you mostly see women wear it. They wrap it around their body, and then the baby just sits so like snug and tight and close to them, and all the women look really awesome and look so connected with their child when they're wearing this thing. Look, we got that for Rachel. She couldn't even get it on. It took her 20 minutes to get the thing on, and she don't even have it on right. She looked like she got stuck in the car seat belt. <laughs> Oh, that's stupid. That's dumb. All right, number four. I feel like I'm just saying all of these hurt my heart, but these these all really do hurt my heart. <laughs> like they really do. I really wanted to use all of this stuff. Oh well. The tummy time mat. We read so many articles that said tummy time is so important in child's development. So what do we do? We went and got a mat that was specifically for tummy time. It had the plastic material and then it had the little dangly things from it. So when he rolls over in his back, he could like play with the things that he actually never played with ever before. And then you have to like, you have to time it right. You feel me? It's time for tummy time. Let me go get the tummy time mat. I get the tummy time mat. I bring it over. Taj doesn't want to do tummy time. I gotta go over to the toy box. I gotta, you know, get it, bring it over, then hope that he's still in tummy time mood, which most of the time he's not. So it's just easier to already have like a blanket that's like on the chair or an area. Tosh had an area that was pretty much dedicated to him crawling around and moving around and stuff. So if he wanted tummy time, I didn't have to stop his flow, go get the little mat that don't work, bring it over transition him and then by that time he's probably done with. just tell me what you think i know i'm not the only one that purchased pointless things so tell me what you think please save save some money for me or somebody else watching help us out we are a community we need your help <laughs> that's how you know you plead and begging when you do this <laughs> please that's all i got folks d anthony from the dad vlog I'm going to have an awesome day and I hope you have an awesome day, 